Hey everyone, it's been a while, but I am hopefully going to kind of refocus on the YouTube channel. Uh, it's gonna be a supplement, uh, three count is gonna be a supplement to the My One, Two, Three Cents podcast, which drops every Monday over at jitterymonkey.com or on iTunes. I also have links at the my one two three cents.com page as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those great places. So check us out on all your social media platforms. So today I want to talk about three things, three topics uh, that I find interesting and I want to share my one, two, three cents with you uh, and I want to get feedback from you guys as well. Hear what you guys think about uh, the topics at hand, what you think about the blogs that are, we're writing, the podcasts that we're doing, interviews that you maybe want to hear and whatnot. So th the first thing I want to do is start off on a positive note. And I'm going to be talking uh, exclusively about WWE this week, but I plan to vary things up uh, around the world of professional wrestling. Uh, one of the big things uh, that has happened in the wake of WrestleMania, uh, we've seen a surge of, of NXT guys uh, being called up to the main roster. And I, that's a good thing, uh, as long as WWE uses them correctly. Uh, we have seen in the past some guys get called up, and women, get called up maybe a little too early, or WWE doesn't have a game plan, so to speak, for them. There's still a lot of people on the injured list, so bringing some fresh talent in uh, is a good thing. And that kind of ties in with the number two thing I wanted to talk about, which is the tag team tournament to determine the number one contenders to the New Day. I love New Day. Uh, I think they're a little overexposed right now. They're over, they're popular, they're hot. They're probably, um, you know, at WrestleMania, the cheers that they received at Raw the next night, it, it was a, a great thing. Uh, so don't get me wrong, I love New Day, and I really hope that once this tag team tournament is over that they still uh, are the tag team champions. So I'm, I'm not advocating that the New Day lose the tag team titles, but I think that now is a time where WWE really seems to be capitalizing on the talent and they're using actual tag teams. We're not getting these makeshift combinations. We're getting actual tag teams, some of them being brought in from NXT, uh, the return of the Dudleys from last fall. Uh, the Usos, of course, are an established team there. There's just a lot of talent on that tag team roster right now, and now is the time to capitalize that on that and uh, make a great situation in the tag team rank. So kudos to WWE. Uh, I love tag team wrestling. I always have. I miss the days of the Hart Foundation, the British Bulldogs, Demolition, the Killer Bees, the Young Stallions. You know, you look back at Survivor Series 1987 and that 10-tag team uh, elimination match, they were all legit tag teams. I miss those days and I'm, I'm looking forward to having more of that kind of thing. And if I can add a little side note, let's start bringing some managers back into the mix again too. So I'll save that for another three count. But the big thing I want to talk about today, the number one topic is Hulk Hogan and his seeming um, removal from WWE.com. Last week they put out a, or it might have been earlier this week, they put out a uh, championship review and pictures, all of the past world heavyweight champions, WWE champions, um, and you scroll through, and of course you get to when uh, Yoko Zuna, you know, remember Yoko Zuna beat Hulk Hogan, who had beaten Yoko Zuna, who had beaten Bret Hart. Well, it goes from Yoko Zuna to Yoko Zuna to Bret Hart. It's it's weird. Hulk Hogan's not there. And then you keep going through, and then it's the Ultimate Warrior beating Randy Savage. And it's Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, I'm sorry, it's the um, Ric Flair winning the Royal Rumble, of course. But then it was having The Undertaker as the last champion. We all know, of course, Hogan was stripped of the title back in 91, setting up for the 1992 Royal Rumble. So, you know, I get that the WWE is, is on this political correctness kick. Uh, I'm not condoning the use of the word that Hogan used. Um, if you don't know the backstory, Google it, look it up. Um, to me, though, and I don't want to be the guy that sits here and points fingers and says, well, he did it and he did it and she did it, and why, you know, why isn't it okay for Hulk Hogan? I can understand firing Hulk Hogan when he was doing the Tough Enough. Even firing him and removing him from uh, you know, participating in upcoming events. I get that. That's their prerogative. But to take him out of the Hall of Fame and to kind of erase him from the history books isn't fair to Hogan. And I am going to point out a couple of things, specifically with the Hall of Fame in 2016. Um, one of the members who went into the Hall of Fame, Michael Hayes, and again, I'm not blaming, I'm not naming names on purpose here. I'm making a point. 
Michael Hayes has a history with that word with a current WWE employee, Mark Henry. He apparently had said it to him at one point. Hayes went through some sensitivity training. I think he was suspended. He came back. He is still on the WWE payroll, uh, working uh, you know behind the scenes. He's now in the WWE Hall of Fame. He paid his debt to WWE. I don't understand why Hogan isn't in a similar boat. Snoop Dogg, celebrity wing of the Hall of Fame, performed at WWE uh, WrestleMania in the Hall of Fame, and uh, listened to his music. I mean, come on. I get it. That word is offensive and it shouldn't be used, but I don't think that the punishment is fair for what Hogan said and was, number one, recorded without his knowledge. It was a private conversation. And number two, he's apologized. I, I feel like he has paid his debt. Um, the fans want him back. I, I don't think many superstars have a problem with him. So, you know, I think WWE needs to reconsider the Hulk Hogan ban. At the very least, put him back on the WWE Hall of Fame page and put him in these picture things. It's petty. It's silly. It's stupid. Hogan has said, Linda McMahon has said, both said, Never say never. So I do think eventually Hogan will be back. We saw Bruno San, San Martino come back. Bret Hart came back. The Ultimate Warrior came back. Hulk Hogan one day will be back. But in the meantime, let's drop the petty silliness. Uh, we're all adults. Let's move on and uh, enjoy wrestling. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to post more updates, I promise. Um, and follow us on all the social media platforms. We'll look forward to hearing from you and seeing you guys on the next podcast as well.